Okay, this chapter we're going to tell you about how to initialize the helicopters and doing some control of the helicopters with the radios. Uh, right now all the batteries are in there. All the batteries are in the radios. Everything's already tested. Everything works. And the batteries are in the helicopters already. The lid is already closed and locked. Initializing the helicopter is a little tricky part. So make sure that you follow this carefully. First, plug in the helicopters before you plug you turn on the radio. Now when you're doing a plug in of the helicopters, make sure that the helicopters lay down horizontal to any flat surface. Do not try to connect your battery while holding the helicopters. That will not initialize the helicopters. Make sure it's on the ground or on a table, flat, horizontal. Use the connectors on the red ones along with the one that is provided with the helicopters. It should be on this side, okay. Again, if you notice, what I do is uh, the, the helicopter is still on the flat surface. So I'm, I'm using the two connectors right now. Connect this onto it. Now once you, you see it on, all the lights are initializing. The red dials are on, blinking. Now, at the same time, turn on the radio. You hear the initializing of the gyro, and the servo is moving the uh, the blade, the bottom blade. The top blade doesn't initialize, but it's already initialized. Um, of course, when you're doing all this, make sure that you, you have a hand uh, firmly holding the the helicopter down, but do not press it too hard. This to avoid any accidental fly out by the helicopters. Again, if you notice, I have the controller all the way down and also the trimmer all the way down before I connect the batteries and turn on the radios. That is a must. Otherwise, the helicopter will not fly. Now let's go outside and do a little demo test on the helicopters.